Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Esther Chandran. Datuk Sri Dr. Chua Soi Lek says 13 elected MCA Central Committee members have to date expressed their willingness to resign to pave the way for fresh party polls. Kami memelu sekurang-kurangnya 20 ahli jawatan kuasa pusat untuk meletakkan jawatan. Ahli jawatan kuasa pusat yang dipilih, yang bukan dilantik. 20 elected CC member to resign. The MCA Deputy President said this after a meeting of the Special Committee for Fresh Party Elections on Monday. A fresh election before the expiry of a term can only be held if at least two-thirds of the elected members resigned. There are 31 elected members in the Central Committee. Dr. Chua, who chairs the committee, said he had requested the MCA Secretariat to prepare standard resignation letters for CC members to facilitate the resignation process. The government does not intend to do away with giving approved permits APs, for importing sugar and rice as it will only expose the prices to speculation and fluctuations in the international market. Deputy International Trade and Industry Minister Dato' Jacob Dungao Sagan says the government, however, would continue to monitor and review the policy and implementation of the existing AP system if it was beneficial for the people in the long term. Sagan says the existing import system for essential goods should not be seen as a monopoly to benefit certain parties only, as the government had a mechanism to intervene if there were elements of consumer exploitation. A 25-year-old hotel worker was arrested for keeping a baby honey bear, a leopard cat and a slow loris in a condominium unit in Desa Pandan, Kuala Lumpur. All the animals, which are endangered species, were found in individual cages in the unit. The woman has since been released on bail until December 29 after giving her statement. The animals were found during a raid carried out on Friday evening by the enforcement officers from the Slangor Wildlife Department following a public tip-off. Department Deputy Director Mohamed Khairi Ahmad warns the public not to keep or buy wildlife as it is against the law. The number of flood victims in Pahang continues to drop with only 92 from 20 families remaining in relief centres. A flood operations room spokesman says in Bura district there are 29 evacuees from Kampong Payatate. A Trunganu National Security Council spokesman says all the flood relief centres in Kemaman and Kuala Trunganu were closed on Monday afternoon while those in the other districts were closed in stages over the past few days. For more updates, log on to thestaronline.tv. I'm Esther Chandran. Thanks for watching.